What's up ladies and gents, and welcome back to Age of Empires Definitive Edition. We are back here with the Enemies of Rome campaign, mission number two, Third Macedonian War. King Perseus of Macedon, your spies in Rome have brought word that your rival, the King of Pergamon, traveled from his lands in western Anatolia to give a speech to the Roman Senate. In it, he slandered and defamed your highness, and urged the Roman senators to declare war on your kingdom. Now, Roman legions have landed in Thessaly, and have been well received by treacherous Greek cities such as Larissa. You must not allow the Romans time to become comfortable in Greek lands. Defeat the Romans, and lay claim to the Greek cities rightly belonging to you as the heir to the Antigonid dynasty. Objectives. Destroy the government center in Larissa. Hints, your starting hoplites are stronger than anything the Romans have at the start of the battle. Rely on them to protect your camp as you build defenses. It is not necessary to destroy the Roman armies to attack Larissa, but getting past the Romans will provide access to Larissa's weaker flanks. Alright, let's jump right into it. Go. This guy will build a wall, that's one of the most important things about this mission, is kind of making sure you're somewhat safe. And we do that by walling in. Now we will go up here. Wall this in. We go for some wood. Now, I know the mission says, well, it's not necessary to destroy the Roman armies, and, well, technically, that's, that's true. But then you should be prepared to be destroyed by the Roman armies, because they will not hesitate. I will just throw down everything they have, throw it into your face, and then while well, you're dead. So... Be prepared to defend from them. You will have to do that. Let's get out some villagers. Sky will, well, we don't have much stone left, that's not cool. There we go. There is a yellow villager. We'll actually run off here, because I don't want to attack him. He's damaged, that's not cool. Uh, it's entirely possible that they will now attack. Get my army ready for that. They are petty like that, yes. Um, let's get some more pieces of wall out. Why are you walling up like this? Well, Roman armies, they are. No joke. They're strong. Four guys on there, that's enough. We do need more food, however. Do need more food. Also need some more wood. Oh goody. First units are coming in. Go outside and defend. I mean, what we are trying to do is we defend the wall here. And we, we try to get it built. Go. 
go, this guy might actually stay out. We'll put him in here now. And we will slowly transition. Cost 180, okay, I have that right now. We will now upgrade to medium walls. Because medium walls are a lot better. Yeah, our horses will go down soon, but our hoplites should be able to weather the storm quite a bit. And we have taken pretty much all of this horse. See, we will now build a tower here. And leave our hoplites there. Just hope they, they don't catch us out down there. I mean, if they do, then they do. You know, it is what it is, but. Generally speaking, I would love if they didn't. He's just sitting there, so maybe. We should use this unit. I think we have enough economy now. We will have to move out eventually. I just want to make sure we can get him, and then I want this guy's going to move on. That's not good. Can I move these guys up here? To build an academy here. Well, they are following us, yeah, but. Should we move back there now? We don't need more villagers. It's so tempting to build more, but we don't actually need more. Something I do want is better towers. Double Academy and some upgrades. Do them simultaneously. And we're starting to get out some hoplites. And that's it for now. And these guys, meanwhile. Try to get some more food. This food is important. We we'll also have to move out soon to grab these resources. Very soon, in fact. So the upgrades are done. We need more houses. Access to this. Well, now we're having to try to defend here. Uh, this is a bit annoying because we're all over the place. rarely do, huh? Can please stop that? That'd be cool. Let's attack now. Um, Once we get some more gold, we can actually...
Actually, we have an OE, we still require some buildings. Um, this one first. These guys can hold that. I'm a villager. I can't click on him. No! We might have to transition some villagers up here, but it's a thing for another day, I guess. One interesting thing about this mission is Brown will actually not attack if you leave him alone. So try to leave him alone for a while. Another thing is our units are stronger than anything they have. I mean, they are primarily an infantry enemy, and while they will primarily use infantry units, so infantry units are obviously very bad against what we have. So naturally they, they are just not very good at this. Let's get rid of some more of these. Yellow is certainly a bigger threat and they will attack you quite hard early on. So yeah, they are someone to, to be aware of. Right, so we are gathering up quite a few resources here, and we are in the Iron Age, that means we can get some more upgrades. It's going quite well, isn't it? We can go over here. I don't think we get Helepolis. Don't think we do. No, we don't. So Ballista it would be if we chose to do something like that. Um, yeah, I do want faster moving units. And that's. Somewhat essential, I would say. Let's see about our upgrades. We don't even have a market, that's embarrassing. Let's get one out real quick. Obviously, these guys they are really good. Get some more upgrades. And if you do take them out, you also get this gold mine here, which you are going to need. Oh, well, maybe don't need it, but it certainly doesn't hurt having it. There's also a gold mine here, and what we will do now is build a town center. Let's be for wood. Which we do now. Build a town center down here. Basically in their spot. And like the mission intro thing suggests, this also opens the other flank of Larissa, which is this one, which is less defended than the 
middle path. Now you cannot freely get through this space, which is not ideal. We will wall this off for now. We start with this. And these guys will now move up here with stone thrower will move up here. We don't need to get rid of this building, it's just something I want to do. We like quite a bit of wood. We have a lot of food. More than we need. Let's get the wood upgrade. Well, it costs 150 wood, that's a shame. Oh, that's expensive. 700 gold. On the other hand, it gives us Centurions, so it's worth it. So, Brown now next. And we have a lot of stuff, but I don't see them standing a chance. The Slingers are annoying, truth be told, but... Again, their units are a lot worse than what we have. And we will not see them standing a chance. And they don't. That was the wrong hotkey. Um, kinda want both of those. Now we won't go for regular infantry units, so... There's no point in getting that infantry costs half population slot upgrade. Oh! Oh! It's not, that's not cool at all. Us of our own. So Larissa is now going for it. How am I to understand this? Oh, oh god. Okay, um, that was unexpected. Ooh, your horses. It's not fun. Take him down! down? Oh no you don't. Um, okay, so, new situation. Hold on a sec. And we're back. We lost a ton of people there. Please stop. Oh 
Okay, um... I have no gold now. We have absolutely no gold. Just close this one. Okay. Uh, that's not cool. Goodness. Okay. It's not entirely going as we planned, but... The problem is we have no gold income at all. Not not one bit. So that, that is a problem. Must get rid of them, but it's not going to be that easy, right? I need to replenish a lot. Lots of gold gatherers and collectors, miners. Was to be expected eventually. We are in a problematic situation. Like, don't don't underestimate. Her. But Brown will soon be dead, and then maybe we can make something work. These resources down here are vital. But yeah, Brown is probably defeated. Let's go for the throat. Alright, um. We are lacking a lot of wood. I mean, we are also gathering at the edge of the rocks. Uh, we need to get the economy upgrades, we are way behind on that. And I do want to get out with the Listers, because I think they can deal a lot better with what they have. Maybe walling this off was a mistake, maybe that triggered them. I still think I had to do that. Maybe I didn't, but I think I had. Um, something we're going to do is take that stone mine. 
get out some ballistas. The pub limit is now going to be our biggest issue, I think. So we need to move into upgrades. Centurions out. We need to move into upgrades instead of more and more units. So we need with centurions. If they send these horses, then that's fine because heavy cavalry cannot defeat centurions. Well, right now there are phalanxes, but. I'm not afraid of their heavy cavalry. I am afraid if they just ride through and raid everything, that would be terrible. But... Generally speaking, I'm not that afraid of it. Hate them. Let's use these guys. Do anything. We have eight idle villagers, so that's not cool. All that. That's you guys, okay, and you go for this one. We will replace you with these. But I'm tempted to just leave those here to to defend, but I'm not sure that'll work. Did we we did get ballistics, right? Very well, defeated. Actually, this is two, this is three. Okay, and we did get some more stone, which can be useful. I know their ballistas aren't great, but. I mean, they don't have the Lapolis, and they really don't have much to make them any good, but we're still a good unit. kind of want to upgrade the towers and push with towers, but at the same time, I don't have that much stone. We have a little bit up here. Everything closed off. We have a little bit up here, but do we want to go through the middle? I mean, sure, why not? But a few more of these. That's a bit annoying. I can already see my units getting stuck on one another again. Oh, that actually worked. Surprise, surprise. Okay, um... What's this? Oh, we don't need an opposite Yeah, yeah, probably minus four. No, no. No, we're being shot at. No! Our limited range is hurting us, but there's not much I can do about that. Or actually, what I could do. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I need these upgrades. Oh, this is terrible. I mean, once we can move freely over here, it's not a big deal anymore. But as of right now, not ideal. Say, can you? I think we can get rid of two or three of these. We'll soon have to open our walls anyway. Okay, we are now moving in. I'm close to the point where I'm ready to... Where I'm ready to get rid of a lot of my economy. In favor of military units. Let's just quickly get through there. Close it back up again. Here. No, 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 Okay, let's get these up here. Do we have anything here? Yeah, let's cancel this. I think we are close. Destroy the government center. Yeah, we can do that, right? I think they blew their load. Don't seem to have much left. We always try to get through that bridge area there, but I can't. We try to get the villagers through there, to, probably to grab gold. And I think that is what limits their unit production. We could now go with better towers as well. I mean, we have all we need for that. But... I just don't think it's gonna happen. We went for our new favorite unit again. Which has helped us tremendously for these campaigns. something for them. And the Centurions did their part. Okay, we can't do that, okay. We can, however, do this. Good job, good job. There we go. Mission accomplished. Your great victory over Rome and her allies has brought renewed glory to Macedon. The Romans fear you, and now know not to be so easily drawn to war through the lies of jealous men. Soon, you will have your revenge on the king of Pergamon. Well, I hope so. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, farewell.